have the next speaker, Dr. Ann C. Please. Good evening, all. Myself, Dr. Ansi from Anandabiri Hospital, Trivandrum, Kerala. I am presenting an artificial intelligence model for early detection of Alzheimer's disease using fundus images. My technical support is from Mr. Ansare from Indian Institute of Information Technology, Kautayam, Kerala. Sir, my contents. Alzheimer's disease is a common neurodegenerative disease and it is the leading cause of dementia. The long progression period in Alzheimer's disease gives a chance for patients to get early treatment by having routine screenings. Nowadays, the current diagnostic modalities like PET scan, MRI scan, CSF analysis, etc. are expensive, invasive, and time-consuming. As we know, the retina, the innermost neurosensory layer of the eye, which is directly connected to the brain via the optic nerve, is an easily accessible extension of the brain. Retina can be considered as a platform to study neurodegenerative diseases and retinal imaging can be used as a tool for early detection of Alzheimer's disease. It has been estimated that 50 to 80 percentage of cases of the most common form of dementia, Alzheimer's disease, remain unrecognized even in high income countries due to challenges in detection and diagnosis. Advances in machine learning have contributed significant effort to facilitate the clinical diagnosis of AD. Published work have largely focused on MRI, PET imaging, CSF biomarkers, and the study demonstrated promising results, but their clinical application is limited because of the expense and invasive nature and consumption of time. It's better to implement a cost-effective, simple, and efficient system having better accuracy for early detection of AD and the identification of methods to predict the risk of developing AD would be of great value for health healthcare systems. Regarding existing AD diagnostic models uh, that include memory tests, brain imaging, and numerical laboratory testers, including CSF analysis, imaging including MRI, PET CT and CT scan. And my proposed AD diagnosis method include memory tests, which include mini mental status examination and using fundus image. It's an analytical cross sectional study. It's a place of study in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Indian Institute of Information Technology, Kotayam, Alzheimer's and Related Disorder Society of India, Kerala chapter. Department of Ophthalmology and Department of Neurology, Anandabiri Hospital, Trivandrum. We implemented a multi-stage architecture for this study. First, retinal blood vessel map generation. Second is disease classification. This is the framework for retinal blood vessel segmentation. After pre-processing, we, the pre we fed the images into proposed deep learning model. The segmented output using proposed model that retinal blood vessel tree as final output. Initially, the data is pre-processed, such as convert color images into grayscale, cropping of the images into appropriate pixel shape so that it is ready to be fed into the model. This is the blood vessel segmentation using UNET. Utilizing a publicly accessible database called Drive, it has a total of 40 retinal images. The collection of 20 images has been designated as the training set, and a single manual segmentation of the vasculature is offered for the training images, and the remaining images has been designated as a testing set. A set of 100 real-world external images has been captured with support of healthcare professionals in Trivandrum using a non-metriatic fundus camera from the clinical setup, and the same was used and tested. And there are 68, uh, there are 26 patients uh, in AD, and there's a normal controls that is 28. And uh, we got 48 images from both eyes in AD patients. A total of 532 images were generated by applying augmentation techniques in AA. The figure shows the random input image from the training and set along with its matching. The training loss, training accuracy, validation loss, and validation accuracy are found after the training is finished 
and the graph is plotted displaying both training loss and validation loss as well as training accuracy and validation accuracy. Here, as the number of epochs raises, validation loss and training losses are reduced, and in case of accuracy, as the number of epochs raises, training and validation accuracy will get increased. It's like in uh, training and validation accuracy, this is graph plotting training and validation loss. Various evaluation metrics has been calculated, and we got an accuracy of 0.943. Then disease classification was performed by using transfer learning technique. I have used a ResNet pre-trained models for this purpose. Created a model for classification with the support of a pre-trained model called ResNet 50. Pre-trained on ImageNet data set is taken as the base model. In the last year, we ordered a fully connected hidden layer with the 256 unit for more learning to be done on the target data set. In the output Dr. layer... Dr. Anzi, can you just please conclude? I'm sorry. Okay. This is the model using Resnel 50 confusion metrics and training validation accuracy. This is the model using Resnel 50 AUC curve. And we got an accuracy of 93.2, sensitivity of 86.27, specificity 100%. And regarding future works, let me have a word on our future work. Just summarize. Just summarize. Okay. Um, so the proposed model will provide a simple low-cost, labor-dependent approach to identify AD patients in a community settings with reasonable accuracy and sensitivity. And the identified patients can then be referred to followed up at the tertiary facilities with the diagnostic evaluation and subsequent multidisciplinary management. These are my references and future works. Yes, sir, uh, we got a base model using uh, ResNet 15 deep learning method of AA, which classify the retinal uh, image into Alzheimer's or not an Alzheimer's normal control. But there will be so many confounding factors like hypertension, diabetes. Yes, we are excluded uh, the, all the di hypertension, diabetes, uh, CVA, stroke, cardiac disorder. Mention all about the exclusion criteria. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.